Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing a follow-up haul to the Shop Miss A haul that I did about two months ago. So I posted this Shop Miss A haul like in the middle of July, and I've been testing out the products that I've gotten since, and I thought this would be a good enough time for me to actually go back and give you a full review on all the products that I was able to pick up. Since this video came out, I also picked up a couple of more products, especially their brush and sponge clean soaps and I've also been able to test those out and can also give you a full review on those as well. I also wanted to say that since that last video came out I did reach out to Shop Miss A. I reached out to a couple of brands that I really love and like really enjoy just to ask about like the possibility of getting onto their PR list because I'm not against that especially if it's a brand that I think is affordable and that I can fully test out and give you guys my thoughts on and I'm actually really excited to say that they offered me a spot in their affiliate program. So I do now have in my description box below an affiliate link for Shop Miss A. That does mean that if you click through that link and buy anything on the Shop Miss A website within I think it's 30 days after clicking the link, I will earn a small commission off of that sale and they will also be keeping track of how many people click through the link. Quite honestly, it is a small commission percentage on products that are all a dollar. So I'm really not like expecting to make a lot of money. I don't really want to actually make the money off of it. I am just so excited and thrilled to have been recognized by a brand that I really respect and that I've been able to test out and that have products that I know are amazing quality for an amazing price. This isn't to say that all the products are amazing. I do have a couple of duds in here. So the whole point of this is that I am going to receive some more products from Shop Miss A. They are sending me some PR. It's going to be my first like big PR package that I've ever received. So I'm thinking about filming that because I'm just honestly so excited. Um, oh my god, I forgot where I was. I was pretty excited about this. But I wanted to let you guys know up front that I do have an affiliate link for this. And just to let you know that I'm not letting that taint like my thoughts or my reviews on these products. Because for these products in particular, I did finish testing all of them out before I got that affiliate link. But also, I hope that if you've been to my channel for a while, if you know me, you know that I wouldn't let that affect any of my reviews. And the fact that I'm accepting this only from the most affordable and most accessible brand that I've been able to find some amazing products with, I, th I hope that speaks to my intentions there as well. But I'm also so, so excited, like, to, to get recognized and to get on, like, a PR list for the first time, like... <laughs> I've actually been keeping this in for a bit. I found out right before I went on vacation that I got the affiliate. And so this is my first video where I'm mentioning it and including it in my description box. So make sure you click down there if you would like to check out any of these products. I will have them all in the description box. And if you would like to pick them up, please, I would ask you to consider clicking that link and going to the website before making your purchase. So with all of that out of the way, let's get into the products I picked up in that haul. First of all, I want to talk about the primers. So I have the AOA Studio Wonder Skin Mattifying Primer and Perfecting Blur Primer. The Perfecting Blur Primer I actually had to put away back into my collection because I was using it so much. So this is basically like, it reminds me of like a lighter version of the, um, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And it also has little sparkles of like gold flakes in it, but this is just like a nice moisturizing, blurring primer, and I love this. This was amazing for just a dollar. Foundation sat really well on top of this. I didn't see any differences where this sat like on the dry areas of my face or the oily areas. This worked well with mattifying primers and more, or mattifying primers, with mattifying foundations and more oily foundations. And I just honestly, I really liked this one. So this was a really great one in my book. I'm probably going to pull it back out now and finish using it and then buy another one sometime soon. Uh, that being said, unfortunately, this mattifying primer was a complete dud. I only think this could maybe work for you if you were the oiliest, oiliest of oily. Um, I tried putting this on. It pilled everywhere. And no matter what foundations I used, no matter what concealers I used, it looked terrible on top of this primer. So I know they have a bunch of other primers in this line. I just picked up the mattifying one and the blur one. They've got color tinted ones. I can't speak to those yet. I think I did pick up one more of those in my last order, 
but the mattifying one I would say stay away from unless you are like an oil slick then maybe it might work for you but like on my dry areas even on my oily areas it just it pilled it looked dry it aged me it was not a good look so the first dud this one's dirty so please don't judge me um in that haul I did pick up a few more of these black teardrop sponges and they're seriously the only sponge I use anymore I love this sponge. I've been talking about how much I love this sponge for about a year now. It's been in like three of my favorites videos, I think. I love this sponge. It's a dollar. It's better than a beauty blender. It's better than the physician's formula. No, not physician's formula. It's better than the real technique sponge. I love this thing to death. And right now I have like seven of them. I like having enough open that I can use like a sponge a day without reusing it. And then I wash all my sponges on the weekend. So I'm actually about to wash all my sponges and my brushes. <laughs> so... That will be done, but I do love that sponge. I think it's the best sponge you can find and it's only a dollar. Speaking of sponges, this wasn't in the original haul, but I did pick up the Argan Oil Brush Soap and the Argan Oil Sponge Soap. So these are a bit more than a dollar. These are a dollar fifty-five because they do donate some of the proceeds to charity. And at first I thought, okay, why is there a separate sponge and a brush one? I kind of thought it was a gimmick, a way to sell more product. But I'm going to open these and actually show you the texture difference. So this is the Argan Oil Sponge Soap. It is just a nice non-scented soap. And as I can see, it is flat. It is smooth. It doesn't have anything like within the soap itself, which lends itself pretty well to sponge cleaning. Now, this is the Argan Oil Brush Soap. Again, this is mainly unscented, but as you can see, there's texture in here. There's like little veins. I don't know exactly what <laughs> it is in here. I should probably look a bit more into it, but it's gritty and it has texture. And that actually works really well because this essentially works as both a soap and as like a brush cleaning pad. Like you don't need to rub your brushes on this and then go to a pad. You can actually just rub the brush here clean it off and then rinse it like I feel pretty stupid or slow for saying this but like this is revolutionary it's awesome it removes the entire extra step of having to like scrub it on like a brush mitt or a brush pad it actually just gets clean rubbing it on here I've used this to clean my brushes all my brushes twice so the first time I was a bit hesitant because I hadn't washed my brushes in a while guilty as charged and I was cleaning some of my big, thicker brushes, like my Sigma F80, you know, my Morphe Dense Bush, bush Brush, and it got these fully clean. And they still felt soft. I was worried that this was going to strip my brushes, even though it was, like, easy to use. I was like, eh, maybe it's not as soft. This actually worked really well. And I'm actually kind of pissed, because it took me this long to find a good, affordable soap for my brushes. Like, I've tried expensive, I've tried the Beauty Blender sponge soapy thingy, I've tried the Sigma brush soap, which also was trash, and it was so expensive, and I've tried out some other home kind of remedy ones that worked out pretty well, but still, you're going through, like, olive oil and Dawn. This just worked so well, and it's $1.50. Okay. So I do recommend this. I did pick up two more. I picked up like all the scents of each of these. So I did try out like the unscented ones first. I can't speak to how the scented ones are, but both the unscented ones are really good. Speaking of, I'm talking about this sponge soap. I've only tried this with the only sponge I currently use right now, which is also from Shop Miss A. So I don't know how this works with other sponges, but with the Shop Miss A sponges, it works amazingly. Same thing, I just kind of rub it in here, squeeze it out, and they're clean. <laughs> I do still get stains on my sponges after I've used them for, you know, weeks and weeks and weeks, but this gets them really clean and damn it. Okay, so my camera just cut out. I don't know where it left off, but I was talking about the Argan Oil Sponge Soap. I have only tried this with the Shop Miss A, the black sponge, because that's currently the only sponge that I actually use anymore since it's so affordable. I really don't buy any other sponges, but it worked really well on those. The only thing I didn't get out were like deep seated stains, which I do see appear after a couple of weeks or months of use, which from a dollar sponge, I'm fine with. I just happen to rebuy these every couple of months and I make sure I have at least, you know, like I said, seven on hand so I can use them throughout a week and not have to reuse them until I can furly, furly, I cannot speak today, 
until I can fully clean them at the end of the week. All right, so next let's move on to the face powders that I got. So I got a pressed powder and I got a loose powder. The pressed powder I thought was pretty good, though I do think I went through this a little quickly for a pressed powder. Um, so this is the uh, finisher. Blah, 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 blah. So this is the Airway Studio Perfect Pressed Finish perfect finishing pressed powder. I got the shade Ivory, which I can't remember if this was the lightest shade or not, but I went through this. I hit pan on this, I think a month into using this, and I was using this every day. Um, and so this is about two-ish months of use. So I did stop using this. I'm going to try and repress it. I haven't tried to repress it. This is a very soft pressed powder. Uh, I did like that because it was easy to pick up product and just like set it down. This isn't a product you have to like swirl with. It's more of a product that you would literally like press it on with a brush or with a poof poof or like I like to call it my bread thing. <laughs> um, so it isn't more of like a swirling powder. It's more of an actual just like press it and apply powder. I really enjoyed this. Like I said, the only downside is I think I went through this a little quickly for a pressed powder. But if that's fine with you, like if you want to spend a dollar for about two months of use for a powder, it's still cheaper than anything else that I've used. So I don't think it's terrible. I do want to repress this, so I am going to repress this and see how it sits and how it sets. So I'll throw in a quick update here about how it represses and whether or not it still holds up. All right, so update here. I repressed this about three days ago and I've been using it since then. Something to note, um, I did get a little bit of the alcohol onto the packaging and it does remove the, like, you can see the black part came off and it stained a little bit of my uh, towel that I was using. So just be careful of that. Don't get the alcohol on there. But this is the repressed powder and it actually performs so well repressed. I was really like surprised. So I think I can get like another probably a week and a half of use out of this. It's actually fairly resilient. And I've just repressed this the same way I've repressed my other powders. I think I did a whole video on how we repress makeup, so I'll throw that up in the cards if you guys want to see my process. So the next product that I have is the Loose Finishing Powder, and I have the shade 22 Soft Light. This blew my mind. This is one of the best loose powders I've ever used and it's a dollar. Again, I've been using this almost every day since I've gotten it and I still have a decent amount of powder left. So a dollar for a pressed powder I can use every day and it lasts at least two months. Sign me up. I am wearing this today. I've just found that this loose powder is so soft and blurring and it looks amazing under my eyes but it also sets my oily areas really nicely. So I've used this in some of the hottest days that we've had this summer. And I use this to set also down here, my upper lip and around my nose and it's just solid. It looks really nice under my eyes. It looks really nice in my oily areas. I also use it between my eyebrows before I go in with like a pressed powder. It's so good. It's so good. If there's anything out of this that you get, try the loose powder honestly phenomenal especially if it's something that you're using every day i think the best things you can get from this website is when you find an everyday staple that's so affordable because like i don't know about how you feel about makeup but for me the most exciting things that are about makeup are like lip colors and eyeshadow palettes and eyeliners and glitters i'm not as excited about like loose powders that being said if i can find a really good cheap go-to product that I can use every day that would give me like the budget and the means to spend a little bit more on like a splurgy eyeshadow palette then sign me the heck up. This is exactly it. I'm gonna place another order <laughs> with Shop Miss A and I'm gonna pick up at least like five more of these. That being said you could also like dump these into a bigger container if you pick up a couple of them. You're only gonna like five of these is gonna be five dollars and you'll have so much product. How much product is in here? Actually like grams. Seven grams of product. That's decent. So I would probably just, I'd pick up a few more of these. Um, the shade that works best for me right now is Soft Light. I don't remember if that is the lightest shade or not. I'll throw up a quick picture here of the shade range of this loose powder. But this has been my absolute favorite product that I found from Shop Miss A. Because it just, I mean, okay, other than the sponge. The sponge is probably my favorite. This is a close tie. Because this, 
so solid. It's so good. All right, moving on. I did get a blush from Shop Miss A, but it wasn't from their like AOA line. I picked it up from a different brand on the website. I did um, request a blush. I'm trying to do a full face of Shop Miss A with what I get in my PR package. So hopefully when all that comes in, I can do a video about a full face and like the best and worst of Shop Miss A, which I want to do after I try out a few more products. But I did pick up this blush from Amuse Cosmetics and it's just like a peachy kind of blush. The packaging is a bit interesting. It has like a little mirror on the back and like it, sw it swivels. Swivels out like that. And then it comes with a brush. I don't use this for blush. I don't know. It felt like kids makeup, to be honest, this one in particular. And I mean, the shade is okay. Honestly, nothing to like write home about. I think I used it a couple of times. It doesn't really last that long. So I wasn't really impressed with this. I think, I don't know, maybe I'm a bit sick of this kind of shade because the, the um, blush that I am panning is kind of a similar shade. But that being said, this doesn't last, like I said, it doesn't really last that long or look, you know, that spectacular. So this one's just kind of like a meh. I can't really recommend it. Next, I picked up a whole bunch of lashes. I don't remember if it was part of this haul or if I picked it up later on with the sponge and brush soaps, but I did get a bunch of the lashes. They are all, all again, a dollar, though I do think they have some more luxurious lashes that are a bit more. I haven't used those yet. Um, I did use a couple of like these standard lashes and I have to say, I think they're pretty comfortable. They look really nice. They're easy to trim down. And for me, typically, if it's a pair of lashes, I can wear them like five-ish times only because I'm bad at lashes. I use a lot of glue. Like I probably don't take them off correctly. I like destroy lashes. So I think the best way for me to experiment more with lashes was to get like some cheaper ones. And I don't know about you guys, but when I go to like CVS and I look at the lashes there, I think they're, they're a bit pricey. Like the Ardell's, right? Aren't they getting, they're getting a bit pricey. Um, so I've worn these twice. These are the Elizabeth's um, and they are all natural and I really like them. I personally have thought about cutting these down to making them just accent lashes because I think for me and for my eye shape, I think accent like outer corner lashes probably work and look the best on me just because my eyes are really hooded. I have small eyes and kind of a big face. <laughs> so I think those work best. So I'm trying to experiment a little bit more. But what I'm trying to say is for so far, I think they work pretty decent. They work just as well as the other affordable lashes that I've had and I've tested in my collection. And I really think they're a good option for a dollar if you're just starting out with lashes, if you're giving them as a gift to someone who's new to makeup or anything like that, I would recommend these. I don't know if they have a lash glue. I didn't see one. Um, so I was just using my, I think it was House of Lashes lash glue with these, which I actually need to pick up another one because it's almost dried out. But if they do have a lash glue, I'll have to find out and I'll see if I can pick that up in my next order to test that out too, because I didn't see anything. All right, so next we have a product that I haven't actually fully tested out. I've only tested out a few of them. And this was the um, full lip kit of the Cool Set. What's the actual name of this? Look up the name. This is the gift set for the AOA Wonder Matte Cool Set. So this was 12 lipstick shades all in here and these like it said they were cool shades so we've got some cool toned reds a purple a blue some like berry tones in here to be honest the only shades that i have really fully tested out are these three right here so the first shade is the one i'm wearing on my lips today this is the shade mixed wait right I can't read. This is the shade Naked and it's number 2003. So this is like my closest nude shade. This feels really comfortable, but I have to say the quality on these really differs from shade to shade. So for this shade in particular, it looks really nice. It lasts decently. I do have to reapply the bottom lip. I have worn this to work a few times. I've worn this and normally after lunch, 
I do see some wear on my bottom lip. It's not as noticeable with this since it is such a nice nude shade, but I do have to reapply after eating. That being said, it's really comfortable. I really like this and it's a dollar. It's nice to have an affordable kind of go-to like nude lip. That being said, for these two, so these other two shades that I've tested out are Faded and Trend, numbers 2006 and 2007. So let me just swatch these. So we have like a deep mauve kind of rosy color and then we have a more peachy kind of color. So these two right here. So for the peachy color, I've noticed that that shade is really dry. Really dry. Like ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip Dry. Like this one that I'm wearing right now, the nice naked shade, is comfortable. I can talk. It doesn't feel like there's anything on my lips. I'm fine. I could feel this one on my lips and you could tell it was really dry like it looked dry and it looked like there were cracks especially if you talked a lot so that one wasn't the biggest hit with me honestly didn't really like it that much um you could make it last a little bit longer if you added a gloss on top but i tended to see that with different glosses the lipstick would kind of break down so this one was a miss for me the next one looks gorgeous on this is the shade faded and it's this beautiful like almost reminds me of like a lighter paler like um rebel rose from wet n wild yeah it's like a little bit lighter and you get this it's a beautiful shade it looks great on but again this feels dry it doesn't feel good on the lips for long-term wear and when this wears off you can really tell because it is a bit of a different color so you do see a lot of wear like here on the upper lip and on the lower lip. So you have to reapply this one a bit more, but it looks really pretty. So like this one, I'd be willing to sit through it or like reapply more often when needed, but it's not like your go-to, like put it on and leave it all day. Cause it's not gonna do that. It's not like Rebel Rose. This one you do have to babysit, but I think the shade was actually really pretty. <laughs> so like I said, very different experiences so far. So I didn't wanna do a video on these because, or right away because they are so different. I will do a lip swatch video at some point. I do know people were asking for that and I get the very least I can do that. Um, especially since I haven't had a chance to really try out like the deeper shades, especially like the blue and the purple. Like where am I gonna wear those? <laughs> Can't wear those to work. But um, so these three I've fully tested out. I've got one go-to so far, which is actually really exciting when you think about it because I now have like a go-to nude lip for a dollar. <laughs> These are all hit or miss, so that's why I'm here. I'm going to test these out and let you know which ones are the hidden gems here so you don't buy the whole collection. But even then, like, the collection was $10. <laughs> like, $10 to 12 lipsticks. I don't think that's bad. So I did pick up in that haul, like, a bandana and a headband, which I don't think you need a review of those. They work fine. I think the bandana was super cute. I wore it. My boyfriend thought it was really cute. And the headband. I do wear headbands every morning as I'm doing my makeup off camera. It's a headband. It worked fine. <laughs> I thought it was cute. I liked it. <laughs> Last but not least, I want to review the sheet masks that I used and I actually used up all of them except for one. So I actually have something to show in this video. Um, all of the sheet masks that I picked up, I'll have listed down below. I did pick them up from two different brands, I believe. Yes. The first brand was Esfolio and they had a pure skin essence mask in green tea, pearl, herb and rose and then the other brand is this one which i believe is just called crystal so in this crystal line right here they had three scents or kinds which were collagen aloe and cucumber and then i had one 15 minute facial mask which was a different brand which was just in white rose i don't really use sheet masks like i'm not like a devout follower of like the like was it the 10 step Korean skincare thing. I don't do that. I just personally really like sheet masks because they feel relaxing. They're like my zen time. Um, when I do plan out ahead of time to use them in my skincare routine, I will do everything except my moisturizer and then I'll use one of these and then put my moisturizer on before I go to bed. That'll be like there. Otherwise, it'll be like on a Sunday, like today. Today's not Sunday. I have vacation brain still, guys. Otherwise, I'll tend to use them in the middle of the day after I've had like a bath or when I'm just like laying down. I like to use these when I'm laying down so I can just like make sure it stays on my face and I'll watch a video or I'll read a book or something. These did everything that I needed from a sheet mask. And again, they're like a dollar each. I had to say, I really liked the Esfolio Essence sheet masks in rose and in green tea. They weren't heavily scented. They just felt so soothing like they felt cool even though I hadn't 
put them in the fridge or anything which ooh, I should put this in the fridge but they felt really cooling they felt really moisturizing they had plenty of like juice in them because that's one of the things I was worried about from a cheap sheet mask would you maybe open it and would it be like dry like no these are like fully liquid like they're juiced up they're really easy to apply they actually fit my face sometimes I see like the sheet masks are like too big for me and so I like they end up being kind of everywhere these actually fit my face really well and I really enjoyed them I'm definitely gonna be picking up more of these because the other sheet masks that I have are like from elf which even elf has sheet masks for like three or four dollars which Jesus <laughs> that's a lot for a sheet mask now that I found like dollar ones that work better i used to also get these off amazon they had like a big set of like 40 sheet masks for like 25 dollars which yeah they're like okay but these are definitely like a lot better so i'm definitely gonna be picking up a few more and i think they have different brands on there too so i'm gonna try and mix it up and try some different ones out but i really like these and in particular like these black ones from crystal so the black sheet masks in like collagen aloe and cucumber I actually found that when I used these in my nighttime skincare routine, like before my moisturizer, I didn't actually have to put moisturizer on after taking this off. So I would take off the mask, rub it into my skin, and normally once it all sinks in and like kind of goes away, then I would put my moisturizer on. These like sunk into my skin, but I felt perfectly moisturized by itself. Like I didn't feel the need to also throw on a moisturizer so I just went to sleep and I didn't realize until the next morning that I didn't put my moisturizer on but I still felt really moisturized <laughs> so I actually really like that that was pretty good I was impressed um I'm happy that I now have like a go-to sheet mask because like I said even elf three or four dollars for a single use sheet mask yeah. all right so that's everything that i had to talk about in the shop miss a follow-up haul thank you guys so much for supporting me and the channel it's only because of you guys that i was actually able to have this opportunity to essentially get the opportunity to be on like this pr list and to get the affiliate link so thank you guys so much i really appreciate it i hope you guys if you would like to try out these products that i recommend from shop miss a you would consider using the affiliate link in the description box and let me know down below if you would like to see a kind of haul video with all the pr products that i'm getting from shop miss a or if you would rather i just kind of hold on to them and do another follow-up haul kind of like this where i give you my final thoughts on all the new products that i'm testing out thank you guys again and i cannot wait to see you in my next video Bye.